Hey everybody, uh, Dad Mode, aka Trey, or Trey, aka Dad Mode, how are you going to say it? I uh, have a new unboxing, Loot Crate. This is actually the Loot Crate uh, for June. I am a little bit behind uh, between work and um, doing some stuff around the house and family reunion and kids and camp and this and that and the other. Anyway, everything adds up and I just hadn't found the time to record. Uh, not that I haven't had time, it's time to record because it's a big difference. You know, when you have kids, uh, even whenever they're off doing their own thing, they're only doing their own thing until you start to do something and then they're right where you're going to be. So anyway, I've been looking forward to this. Uh, I've already gotten some teasers because it's got a post-apocalyptic thing to it, which is fantastic. I'm a huge Fallout fan. My wife is the biggest Fallout fan I know. Uh, we play a post-apocalyptic LARP that we go through once a month. Dystopia Rising. Look it up. Anyway, uh, dystopiarisinglarp.com. Anyway, uh, so I love the post-apocalyptic genre. So let's see what we got. Alright. Alright. Oh, check that out. That, that's cool. That's too cool. Alright, so we have... Let me see. I'm going to let y'all see first. Bam. What is it? <laughs> Robocop. That's right. That's that's awesome. I I like Robocop. Um, I think it that's pretty awesome. Uh, I didn't care for the Rubit all that much. And of course, uh, anything after the second Robocop, and even that one's a stretch, is really unnecessary. See what else we got. We got a Fallout Dorbs vinyl collection. These things are they're they're kind of a smaller um, Funko that, that are solid. Uh, they don't have any movable pieces or anything else. Um, they're pretty neat. They're a little bit smaller. Um, I'm not sure why. I guess you know when you got a product that sells and everything else as Funko does that they wanted to, you know, expand on their line and dwarves. But we have a nice little Fallout guy in uh, power armor. What power armor is it? Is T-51? Is it T-51? Yeah. Pretty sure it's T-51. Oh, look, we, we could have gotten, oh, could have gotten a, uh, a ghoul. That's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let's see what else we got. We got a Matrix puzzle. Oh, that's, that's post-apocalyptic. It is. But this puzzle will go to one of my kids. I guarantee it. I like puzzles okay. I just don't have a lot of patience. I have so many other things I'd rather do. And, um, you know, like Overwatch or Dead by Daylight. Speaking of, I'll have some recording, more recordings uh, coming up. I know I only have done the stream. That's another one. i got to be careful with that one because kids. And that's not really a game you want the kids to come down and check it out. <laughs> oh, dude, look at the pen. That is amazing. I love it, the mini nuke. That is awesome. I probably will take that pin and use it in my post-apocalyptic LARP. No joke. And we have a T2 aluminum thing. This looks like the kind of, this looks like the box cover that you would get when you buy like a special edition. Uh, Blu-ray or DVD and they would come and then you get it and it would have a special thing that would sit on top and it's like a little collector's. This looks like it came directly from a T2 Blu-ray special edition that was sitting right on top. That's okay. We have Bioshock Infinite. It's a key blank. So you could uh, take your house I think it's a house key uh, blank. You can take any of your house keys and turn it into a Bioshock or make this Bioshock infinite blank into your house key. It's pretty cool. We have uh, our local Walmart has a uh, kiosk where you can go get keys made and you can buy a key or bring your own or something of that nature. All right, and we have, all right, then all we have is uh, the book. All right. Little book. Uh, it's got all the directory. It's Fallout, Matrix, Robocop, Terminator 2, Bioshock. That's the that's the fall or that's their post-apocalyptic. 
Okay. Yeah. Things for Fallout 4 that we want in real life. Yes, we want Pit Boys. We want Power Armor. They sort of have Power Armor stuff. It's just not nearly even this. Stim Packs. They have Stim Packs, kind of, sort of. Robot Butlers. Who doesn't want a Robot Butler? So, we have Robocop t shirt. It's got some cool little Robocop art. It's pretty neat. Uh. The exclusive Terminator 2 metal print from the Loot Crate Lab. So, still looks like it came off a special edition of a Blu-ray. Or, actually before, pre-Blu-ray. Looks like it came off a special edition, widescreen version of T2. Uh, with the director's cut and commentary and all that jazz. And y'all, it tells my age. I know it tells my age, but I'm telling you, this, this is what it looks like. And we have the Matrix puzzle. And... Bioshock Infinite Key, which I guess... Oh, it's two-sided. I thought there was a separate... There was a different one. Uh, the Loot Pins DLC. Exclusive wallpaper and ringtones from the number one smash hit mobile game Fallout Shelter. So, I get new stuff for Fallout Shelter, which I still play. I don't play it as much as I used to. Because of Pokemon Go! And... If you don't know what Pokemon Go is, then you are blind to what happens on TV and the internet and Twitter and all social media and people that randomly stop in traffic to catch something. And yeah. And they have the Mega, Mega Crate. Mega Crate's pretty cool. Uh, the Mega Crate had a Robocop mechanical chair, one sixth scale figure, a Matrix inspired. NZXT and Razer uh, case with a graphics card and motherboard. A Terminator Anthology and the Sarah Connor Chronicles and the Bioshock Skyhook prop and the Fallout audio system. Tactile audio system. What? The, tac the Fallout vault Tech Subpack M2 wearable tactile audio system from Bethesda. Is that like a, a, a VR add-on? It's almost like a VR ammo. So, uh, I'm not seeing what is coming in the next one. I don't see it. It just says, uh, we love you on the back. Anyway, uh, it's pretty cool. I love the shirt. Um, I love the Fallout figure. The Matrix puzzle is awesome. I just, uh, like my kids will get a big kick out of that. The key, I'll probably have a new house key. Uh, the pin. This thing is amazing. This, um, this was a miss for me. I mean, I like T2. Don't get me wrong, I like Terminator. Anything that, uh, T3 was pretty much the point when everything else went to, went started going downhill. And, uh, but, I mean, everything can't be perfect. I'm sure I've got a friend or so that would love this. It's just, it's, like I said, it's not, for, no, it's not really for me. Anyway, uh, I've got a horror block opening for, uh, May as well that I need to get done and uh, then be on the lookout for some videos uh, coming up. Uh, there is, I'm over on uh, some videos for Wretch Plays where we played some golf with friends and it was fun because I started doing challenges where everybody says they hate me a lot and it works out pretty well. Um, I, I had a lot of fun, and I watched the world burn, and it was it was good. It was good. I felt good. And I eat up all of their tears, and it felt awesome. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.